everybody. Greg here from Two Old Guys with Crossbows. Just going to go over before you go deer hunting, you want to make sure your bow is ready to go. Um, first thing you want to do is maybe you to make sure it's clean. And in this rail here, you know, you might want to use a Q-tip. Just drag her down there. Eh, you get a bit of dirt. No, nothing major. Make sure there's no clumps and pieces in there. That's the main thing. Inspect it well. Look underneath. Yeah. Check it over. Another thing you want to do is string wax. Push that out a little. Come on. Oh, she's stiff. It's cold. But to put this on, you know, you just rub it on. Inspect your string too. Make sure it's not frayed. And then take your fingers and work that in. Just like that. I've already kind of done my, my bowl, but uh, work that wax in. That's to protect your, your, uh, your string from moisture and rotting. And it's a good thing just to work that in. Get it nice and warm. Work that right into the, to the string. Also, check your fleshing. Make sure it's not fraying. If it needs to be re-wrapped, you might want to take it in and get it wrapped again. Take a look. Make sure you're touching your string stops, but it's not bending the string back. Um, and then, of course, your rail oil or your rail loop. And again, it's the same thing. This stuff's kind of like chapstick. The one I got here. You rub some on your, your rail there. Like that. I know anybody that crossbow hunts probably knows this, but for the people that are new to it and that, I figured this would be some good information because I always wondered. I only got into crossbow hunting myself last year. And you want to work that lube up and down your rail. And that way your string travels smoothly on a rail, keeps it sl sliding. You know, and you can put some on. I have uh, some other stuff. is It's a liquid. It's from Cabela's, and I like using it more than this uh, this wax that they got. I find that it seems to be slicker and smoother when I'm done. But either one works. If you don't use this, uh, you watch a video. Uh, Death by Bungie put a, a video, and the bolts come off the end of his bow, and they were just dropping ten yards away like and uh, not a good thing and basically it boiled down to is he hadn't uh, put any rail lube on there for a while and it affected his shot really badly now as you can see here I got my set of wrenches and stuff and that's the thing there's a lot of uh, Allen 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 nuts and stuff and you want to pull rear your system. I bought this nice little wrench set. I think, uh, oh, Canadian Tire for around thirty dollars, and it's all your different sizes. It's got the uh, SAE plus the metric, and being that this bow is made in China, of course, it's all metric. But one thing you want to check for sure is make sure your bow head's tight. I'm going to get up and come around the front here, push it back a little, but you get right in here. You see your bow head. You want to make sure that's tight. There's a lot of vibration to a crossbow. <clears throat> and you want to make sure this stuff is all tight. It does come loose. Turn your bowl over to. You look at the bottom. You've got Allen keys here. This is your quiver mount. It'll come loose. Um, this is all for mounting your your bow, your string stops and everything. You want to make sure all this stuff's tight. This is your quiver mount down here. Sorry, this is a rail mount for your for your hand rail. But you want to check all of this. Make sure it's tight. I don't know if you can see that high, so I'll come back down. But there are nuts all along here. Now watch. Some of these are trigger adjustments, so you don't want to be adjusting your trigger. 
but you do want to get your rail, make sure that's tight. This is your trigger adjuster right in front of the trigger on this. You don't want to adjust that, but there's another one back here. You want to tighten up. And just check that everything is tight. Because believe it or not, when this stuff is loose, there's on the side there for mounting your, your, your grip, there's screws all over this. Check your scope. Check your scope rings. I've checked all this, but I'm just pointing out areas to watch and look for. And make sure that's all tight. And then once you've done that, and you've tightened up your bow and you've uh, lubed your rail, uh, you waxed your string, well, you know you're ready for your hunt. Before you go out for that hunt, I recommend again just go over it real quick, give everything a check, especially if you're going to go out like I am and do some target shooting because now, of course, I want to make sure that I'm sighted in. Jason uh, is down, so we're going to go out and we're going to do some shooting. He's got his uh, uh, Axiom here, Excalibur Axiom, and of course this is my, my uh, Crossman Sniper 370. And we're going to take a bolt. We're going to do some shots at uh, 40 yards. Plus, we're going to do some penetration shots. See what kind of penetration there is at 40 yards on a phone book. So stay tuned. I've always wanted a fanny pack. So at a garage sale, I found this green belt. Okay, and you know it's got. Finder, all the things on there that all the fancy uh, fatty packs have, but it was missing one thing, uh, and it, what it was missing was suspenders. So Value Village, six ninety five. <laughs> I got myself a set of suspenders. Now I have to black these for sure, okay? Because they kind of shine. <laughs> But, you know, so this whole rig cost me under 20 bucks, you know, and it serves the purpose. And that's what we're all about. Finding stuff and making it work to serve the purpose. Tell them why you carry your cocking string around your neck. Well, I carry my cocking string around my neck. It's very simple. Because to cock the crossbow, then you're not looking for it. And the other thing you need to do, okay, is when you put your caulking spring in and cock your cock your bow, always re always put it. Don't reverse it, or your handles are on the inside. Always put it so your handles, so you just bring it down and hook it on. So that's one trick that I we learned very quickly. Because <laughs> all of a sudden your handles are on the inside. Or you're digging around on the ground looking for your cocking string. Or... Yes. So <laughs> it stays handy this way. They're always Excellent. right there and they're always nice and straight. Ready yep. to ready to cock your boat. Yep. Sorry if there's any wind noise, this camera doesn't have a wind filter. But basically, this whole oval part is printed on 11 by 8 uh, standard piece of paper. And believe it or not, that is about your kill zone on a deer or a pig. And this is at 40 yards. I am going to be using the green dot for a center point of aim. And uh, with the sniper, um, one thing I found is their uh, increments on the scope aren't exact, but I will use the 40 yard mark and I think it might shoot a bit low. But you adjust to that uh, as you practice with it and you learn. And then after that, I'm also going to use a phone book and see what kind of penetration we get with the sniper and the Axiom. We're going to be shooting the Axiom today too at uh, 40 yards. and see what kind of accuracy and penetration we acquire.
to apologize about the wind. As you can see, that's well within the kill area. I was aiming here. Um, there's a bit of a wind today. I've hit a bit to the left and a little bit low. But my main reticle on the uh, sniper crossbow, I have sighted at 25 yards, and that was using the 40 yard um, dot. And being as steady as I could um, in this wind and shooting outside. But now we're going to try a penetration shot. Saskatoon phone book. Let's see if the bolt will penetrate at 40 yards. Well, I guess the big question is did we penetrate the phone book? And it certainly looks like we did. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, that's in focus. That bolt went halfway through that phone book at 40 yards. I know the deer I got last year were both 20, between 20 to 30 yards and I had a clean pass through on both bolts when I shot them. And this is Jason uh, with the other half of two old guys with crossbows. He's got his uh, Excalibur Axiom out here and he's just cocking it now and he's going to do some shots at 40 yards to see what kind of accuracy and penetration we get. Killed the top of the target. <laughs>